Happy birthday to you. Ah. <laughs> Sing happy birthday to Titi. I was about to say good morning. I think I got the sneeze. Yeah. What are you doing? With my napkin on the floor. Because this morning when I woke up, my allergies decided to be on full load this morning. But good morning, y'all. Finally started unpacking, and Karma decided to unpack all her toys at her toy box. Karma, what are you doing? And I finally got her closet finished. Hold on. Her closet. I mean, like, I'm gonna fix it when I get all the stuff I need to get. But this is what it's gonna look like for now. And I'm like, I need to get her little hamper, put it right here. Yes, baby girl's closet. Make some clothes on the floor. But, but yeah, her stuff is together. Her room is basically, you know, it is what it is to target furniture in it. But everything else is, is, is there. So. Let's go to the next project. I just. And baby girls, we're on the way today. We we'll decide to potty train today. Well, you can put that in her room. Oh, I couldn't make my grits this morning because I have no damn teas. Oh, you don't know me. I can't. I can't eat my grits without my cheese. I'm sorry. Like, I have to. I'm in the kitchen now, y'all, which is kind of a mess right now because we got stuff everywhere. Thirsty. So, since I can do that, I gotta make me a salad. Well, I wonder if my avocados are ripe. Do I have a ripe avocado in there? Because oh, that would be bomb. Like a, no, there's no avocados in here. Okay. I mean, I do have alcohols, but they're not right. Hold on, y'all. I gotta blow my nose. <coughs> you happy, Karma? What? You're hot? No, it's not hot. You're hurt? No, it's not hot. What happened? Oh. Mom just yanked her on um, piercing. You better not go up them stairs. You already know you can't go up them stairs. Or it's trying to go in the loft. Oh, so we decided to turn the loft into like a hangout spot. And most likely, if we have gas, they're going to stay there. I mean, like, technically my makeup room is going to be like makeup room slash gas room a little bit. But I know the loft will be, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. What happened? That makes it hurt. That hurts? That hurts. What happened to it? You scratched it? Okay, I don't know what the last part, what you're saying, the last part. Oh, I see it. It is. Come here. Come here. Let me see. Leah's not here. Unless you have a, a imaginary friend, you named it Leah. Dang, you did scratch yourself. Yeah, it's right, because it hurts. Right? I'll just squeeze me. Then. Squeeze me. I'm gonna go make myself a salad to eat and just fruits for lunch. We gotta go get my husband's um, microwave because I have some Chinese food in here I could eat, but no microwave. The fuckery. Come and go play. Go play. Go in the room. You can go play in your room. <laughs> go play with your toys. Oh, Lord, like, my allergies is, like, on a thousand today. Oh, snap. I just dropped all my bread crumbs. Oh, my gosh. I see if this shit works. Nope. Mm-mm. It don't work. Oh, my goodness. And this piercing is driving me crazy. 
Jarrell, if you're watching this, pressing your tongue against your teeth does not prevent you from sneezing. This morning, me and my boo Jarrell was reading, well, I was reading her amazing life hacks that she didn't know. And honestly, shit was a lot of bullshit. I'm not gonna lie. So for, what time is it? Shit, what time is it? I don't know what time is it. It's probably like brunch hours. I'm eating this. Not because I'm trying to be healthy. It's because I genuinely do like this salad. <laughs> I wish I still had the Dijon. Pepper. Oh my God. Listen, y'all. Mm. And Kelly's chewy. It's a bit of chewy. But where I found them, I like with Kel. Sorry, I saw some just like my fingernail, I licked it off. <laughs> but with Kel, if you put enough dressing in it, listen, like I said, I'm not eating this to be healthy. Then I'm telling you how I'm eating it. If you put enough dressing on it, it's still chewy, but it's like a bearable chewy. You get me? Cause if you ever had dry kale, shit is juice it's chewy as fuck. Alright y'all. I'm gonna finish eating. And I'll be back. Oh, so you now you gotta get shirts? Oh no, we have shirts. Look y'all, we got jacuzzi tub. <laughs> Happy birthday to Titi. I got a little bit of makeup on. Listen, I had an acne scar right here and it make my little peach fuzz look worse than what it is. See that? So yeah, I managed my eyebrows today. They kinda look good. <laughs> yes, yes. Baby girl slump. And I wish y'all could hear her. She's snoring, like she's going. What's my phone update? I mean updates. Oh snap! My phone. I wonder if my phone updated by itself because my phone had an update. Shit. Oh no, I gotta look into it. But once my phone charges, I'm gonna start. I need to edit it, my stuff. But we're on a family emergency road trip type stuff right now. So. Say hi to the camera. So fine. How you feel about me? Can't live without me. Wow, this traffic is ridiculous. Bruh. I'm sure I think I'm gonna go cook when I get home. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna cook when I get home.
so we made it to North Carolina. I was sitting here editing videos, here editing videos, but my stupid thing was acting stupid. Oh, my glasses got the thing looking super dark. I couldn't find my other glasses that I had. Like, I love them damn glasses. I got them from Rainbows. Now I can't find them. I don't know, maybe Carmen put them down. But we made it to North Carolina. But my nose, I don't know if because of the new environment, but my nose has been driving me crazy lately. Like, different step up step up north <laughs> hold on my cousin just touched me hold on okay but yeah oh my gosh like my nose is shit tickles whatever I don't know but I think oh, what it's been like how I many I think it's, yeah it's been two weeks with my nose piercing now and I mean everything's good. It kind of feels like I got like a little flab of skin, like extra skin, like around the piercing. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but this one feels like when I put my finger and my nose to touch my piercing. That's what it feels like. So I don't know yet. I gotta check it out. I don't know how I'm gonna check it out, but I gotta figure out so. But yeah. And today I didn't feel like doing host band with my face. I just went to a family emergency, so I just did my eyebrows, my eyebrows. <laughs> and a little lip color. That's it. Oh. Oh. I think these are too big for my face. I think so. And baby girl found a woke up again. She's up. And we got we got plans for today too. I guess we'll do those tomorrow. Oh, babe. I forgot to tell you, the other day, when I had to on my Snapchat, and Jessica was like, oh, you would think that Vaughn would be tired of driving because he does drive for a living. I was like, yeah, but, I, you know, something wrong with my license. And plus, Vaughn don't like the way I drive. And you know this girl had all that to say? Shit, I don't blame him. Because after that incident, we had a yo car. Have you know that I've never gotten a car with you ever again? I was like, bruh. I don't drive bad though. I don't. Like, I, I kind of drive like a little New Yorker because my dad is from Queens and he taught me how to drive. And I mean, like my Haitian mom, mama would say, you do a lot of S. So do an S. I do a lot of S. I, I, I go in and out of, you know, traffic. Because I'm paranoid. I don't like cars around me. Like, <laughs> But I love to drive though. I love driving. It's not like I'm paranoid. I don't want people to hit me. I don't want to get in an accident. So I drive to get away from traffic. You understand? He ain't buying that shit. He's like, whatever. <laughs> and I drive kind of fast. Sometimes. Babe, sometimes. You know sometimes? I believe I drive fast sometimes. Oh shit, my phone is fair, babe. I think I got it. But yeah, so my wifey, my best friend, Jessica. Oh yeah, what had happened was the incident that Jessica's talking about was in high school, I had a yellow punch buggy, right? I mean, they used to call me Bumblebee in high school because I had a yellow punch buggy. My 11th, my 11th grade year? Yeah, my 11th grade year. I had a yellow punch buggy. And uh, one day when we were leaving home, like we were leaving school to go home, and Jessica lived like down the street, like a few blocks away from my house, like probably like three blocks away. And the blocks are really small, so we live in the neighborhood. So it was like walking distance, because I used to walk to her house every morning. 
because her house is right next to my, my bus stop. Well, I was taking the bus. But anyways, anywho, so I was driving us home, and I had a, like I said, a punch buggy. Now, this is why I can't have a little car. The little cars now, I definitely go in and out of traffic. Let me tell you, I was out that little punch buggy like it was a little Ferrari. I was zooming in my, woo. But anyways, see I'm driving in my punch buggy and we're driving, it was me, Jessica was in the passenger seat and her sister Emily was in the back seat. So we driving, we driving. And then I don't know why I turned on this street. There was a street, um, there was a sex store around like around that, where we live. And the store is like kind of on the hill. And I think I was trying to go around this car and I went up the hill and my car tilted to the side. So my car tilted my little punch buggy tilted. So I was literally driving on two wheels. Like, have you ever seen those videos in Dubai? How they, how they, what I think called they, when they put the car to the side, they whip it. You know what I'm talking about, right? You know what I'm talking about? You remember that video that we were watching? And the guy was in the um, GMC Arcada or whatever, and his mama was in the car, and he did a prank, and he and we had the car tilted to the side on two wheels while I was driving, they going on circles. Oh, I would say drifting, but that's not drifting. So I don't know, but you know what? You know those people at Dubai when they took the car to the side and go in circles on them two wheels. Well, I did it on my punch buggy by accident. And Jessica never, never got in the car with me ever again. That's today. <laughs> like if me and Jessica's in the car, she's driving. I'm not driving. She, after, after that incident, and that was over seven years ago. That was like eight years, eight years, eight, yeah. We graduated 2010, and that was the year before. So it's been like eight, nine years ago. And I haven't drove her ever since then. Just because I can go be in the same car, I'm driving, bitch. Like, you're not. No. You're not driving. No. Ashley is driving. No, she's not driving. Not me? But I still love you, Jess. Another one, two. 